This is a anterior view of your right hand. And you know this is an anterior view because in anatomical position, your palms face anteriorly, which makes your thumb the most lateral bone or um, digit one, digit two, digit three, four, and five, which digit five is the most medial. To begin, these little bones all down here are your carpals. The bones in the middle are your metacarpals. And these three bones down here, on digit one, it's only two. These are your actual phalanges. These are the finger bones. And on each phalange, you will have a proximal, a middle, and a distal except when it comes to digit one, your thumb bone, you only have a proximal and a distal. And you only need to know your carpal is articulated. So if we start from the most medial bone, and these are your most distal carpals, the first bone that starts articulating with the finger, um, with the metacarpals, is the hamate bone. And the hamate bone is the most medial and distal of the carpals. And from the hamate, it goes hamate, capitate, trapezoid, and trapezium. And these are the only four carpals that articulate with the metacarpals. From this side again, hamate, capitate, trapezoid, and trapezium. Now the most proximal bones are these four down here. The first one I wanna point out is this little pea-sized or pea-shaped bone is gonna be called your pisiform. And articulated with your pisiform is your trichetrum, this bone right here, which is medial, located um, right above the hamate bone. So from this trichetrum, it goes trichetrum, lunate, and scaphoid. So from the most medial aspect of the hand bones, it begins trichetrum, lunate, and scaphoid. And the pisiform is right there, right along the trichetrum.